Hello. So as you can see here, there are a couple of new additions to the back of the freshwater tank. You can see them swimming in that back left corner there and they're moving around. And these are my new Emerald Cory Cats. Now, if you've seen my other tank videos, you might be sitting there going, uh, wait a second, isn't that a pea puffer tank? Yes, it is. Uh, I, was, I was really wary about doing this, but it just reached the point where I had to have something in there to help clean the substrate just because we were having some serious problems with uh, a lot of leftover waste. And I, quite frankly, I just can't get it all. So after looking at all the options and talking to the folks at my local fish store, Cory Cats were what were recommended. They got a couple of adult ones that are much larger than the pea puffers that I have. And these guys are. And uh, it's turned out to be a pretty good solution because the pea puffers, initially they gave them a little bit of problem. But after that, they pretty much settled in. And now, actually, it's really funny. The Cory Cats, even though they're generally peaceful fish, when it comes to feeding time, they have no problem getting right in between the pea puffers there and even shoving them out of the way. So these guys actually, you know, they're, they're definitely um, assertive when it comes to feeding, which is good because I needed something like that. So I did stick with adult size models because I definitely wanted something that was going to be significantly larger than pea puffers, and they've done a great job. They just put their nose to the ground there and just go for it um, and eat up a lot of the leftover food bits that were causing problems in the tank. So thus far, it's been good. As I said, it's, it's one of those things where I will continue to watch and monitor, just make sure I'm not getting a bunch of fin nipping or anything like that going on. But for the most part, they seem to pretty much give each other a wide berth and just kind of ignore each other. So, uh, and once again, you know, I mean, obviously it is definitely a case-by-case -case basis here. All of my puffers are currently female, so I don't know if that helps any or not. Um, unfortunately, my last male ended up passing away. But, uh, and I haven't just found a good replacement since for a male. So I don't know if that makes a difference or not, but um, for the most part, these guys seem to pretty much leave each other alone. The pea puffers are generally in the front, the Cory cats are generally hanging out in the back, and then once the food starts hitting the water, particularly the blood worms, then the Cory cats really start you know, putting their nose to the ground and going to the work, which is great because it gets rid of a lot of leftover food bits for me. Since pea puffers are notoriously messy eaters, also helps out when I do occasionally get some feeder snails for the pea puffers, just having something there to help do with a little more cleaning on the bottom and the substrate. And anyways, that's all I've got, and thanks for watching.